there's a threat in the world today, a threat to our way of living, a threat to our society, and maybe even a threat to our very existence. And what is this threat? What is going on, world? This is Dan the Ass Stevens coming to you from Black and White Sports. Check out all the fun and awesomeness we have going on here at Black and White Sports at Checkers and Wreckers, coming soon at Esports and Whatnot, all in one place, bwsports1.com. Now, right, like uh, tonight I've been on one, so I'm just having a little fun, experimenting with some uh, different program stuff. Um... I want a little bit of this and that out tonight, and I got a. I, I want to talk about some esports here, so we're we're kind of going around, um, getting this esports and whatnot show up and, and and previewing it a little bit, and I'm gonna throw out there, you know, um, some some good quote unquote esports games uh, that I like. First off, in 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 racing. In a racing game, you know, there was uh, the Need for Speed, there was uh, the Crew, there was, you know, n the NASCAR games that came out over the years. Um, the best game I have played in a long time, racing-wise, and I own it, and I play online against uh, Tommy Boy. I think uh, Howdy just got it last night, so we might have to hit him, hit him up get some videos going it's project cars 2 and project cars 2 the the thing i really like about it not only is the graphics amazing but you can race with all kinds of different vehicles uh i like the go-karting and i especially obviously you know i'm an indy car fan I, i'm from and live in indianapolis where the indy 500 is so i love taking those Indy cars out and taking them around the Indianapolis Motor Speedway running the 500 I haven't gotten to 200 laps yet because I am not that good but it is definitely an interesting game it makes you actually set the vehicles up the way they need to be set up for the specific track you're on and it's very realistic driving so you know check that out uh, I'm on PlayStation, so the PS4, uh, Inner Beast 2011 is my tag, so if you want to join me online, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I'm, I'm a basketball guy, I like basketball, so 2K19, I'm a, a 2K'er, I know when the 2K first came out, it was um, the same, I want to say it was the same makers who created like Game Day, Back in the day, NFL game day. I um, believe it was 989 Sports at the time. Now it's, you know, NBA 2K. Or, you know, it's the 2K series because they have, you know, I don't know how long they've been around as them. But the 2K19 was awesome. I had it a couple years ago. I think it was 2K17. Um, that was cool. I played a little bit of the, the EA Sports game. Didn't really like it. I just I like the 2K. Um, I think it's a, like I said, the graphics are awesome. Uh, the gameplay can be a little touchy at times, but you get you kind of get through it. You work through it real good. It's not too hard to uh, figure out some things. Um, as far as like shooting games go, like uh, first person shooter and stuff like that, I I got into the the Call of Duty games now. Let me talk about the Call of Duty games. So it's kind of split in the series. So, you know, you got one, you got two different um, makers, I believe, and they kind of split off and on. And I, well, at least it used to be like this. You had two different makers. One would come out with the game, you know, in the beginning of the year or the end of of the year, and then the following game would be by the the other creator. And that's what made like the 
um, what was it? It was a Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So you had the Modern Warfare series made by one one maker. And you had like the Black Ops series made by another one. Now, I didn't like the like Advanced Warfare or like the games that kind of look like Halo. I was never a Halo guy. I, I like the more realistic games. So I just recently honestly bought uh, Call of Duty World, World War Two. It's awesome. Excuse me. It, it it's awesome. The graphics are cool. The the shooting, you know, the the gameplay is awesome. Um, the storyline is is amazing. You know, it take it does take you back to World War Two times. Um, I really like it. I'm not good at all. I've never been really good at shooter games online. You know, that goes back to when I'd stay up all night long. With the buddy, you know, staying over at a buddy's house, you get two or three of us just staying up, pulling up an all-nighter, you know, playing like the James Bond 007 game, you know, shooting. I, I was never really good at it. Loved to play it, just never really good at it. Um, but, yeah, I like the I like the more realistic ones. I don't like the, the space, like putting a rocket pack on you and, you know, like uh, Advanced Warfare was. Uh, I didn't just... Just really didn't get into it. Ghost was good. Ghost was amazing. Call of Duty Ghost was amazing. <clears throat> um, you know, there's a lot of talk. Rocket League is kind of like, a, I want to think, uh, Julian was telling us, I believe it's kind of like soccer mixed with, like, uh, I don't want to say it's racing per se, but it, it, I guess it is. Um, I don't really know anything about it other than what he's told us. And honestly, I don't really remember too much about it because it's been so long, Julian. We're waiting on you. Yep, called you out. Um, but yeah, you know, getting it, like I said, getting this uh, esports and whatnot game or esports and whatnot show, uh, try to boost it up a little bit for you to, to preview what's coming up on bwsports1.com. Check out everything right there, what we have going on for Checkers and Wreckers, which is goes live every win or every Sunday morning at eleven o'clock from the Checkers and Wreckers page. Black and White Sports goes live every every Wednesday night at seven thirty from the Black and White Sports page for Wednesday night live from Stadium Tavern. And we always have some, you know, special shows popping up here and there. You know, the Checkers Checkers and Wreckers crew. Tommy Boy and Howdy was up at Ingalls Raceway a couple weekends ago. We all made it out to uh, Dick's Last Resort that same night for the Final Four show. So we got a bunch of uh, things coming up in 2019 for everybody. So stay tuned. Appreciate the love and support that we've gotten so far from you. Uh, make sure you uh, you know share share our um, videos, share our YouTube page, you know share our SoundCloud, share the share the Apple the i the apple um podcasts you know help us out you know if you're a local if you're a local business you know let us know if you're looking to find ways to improve your marketing um different different avenues for your promotion we can uh we can work something out if if you have a uh business and you you have a shirt you know that's got your company logo your company name and information on it send us an email info dot bwsports1 at gmail.com you know we can work something out to we wear your shirt during a show or or you know a couple shows here and there a special show or something like that so we're pretty open to everything we're here in indianapolis um like i said bwsports1.com check everything out and as always we keep it sporty folks (laughs) 